Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you already know that silver is a huge essential thing in this game and literally everything you do in the game requires silver, whether it's opening shards, whether it's uh, gearing somebody, whether it's taking off gear, whether it's upgrading gear, whether it's applying some skill books or using some chickens or whatever, every single part of the game requires silver. Just turning off the game, opening the game up requires silver too. All right, I was just joking about that last part, but literally everything in the game requires silver and we're always struggling for silver. As you can see here, I am at 1.5 mil silver and there's an artifact enhancement going on right now, which requires tons of silver because gearing, uh, upgrading gear requires a lot. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty much like halfway to getting the Elhane fragments here and I need more silver guys. So what's the easiest way for me to make silver and what's the easiest way for all of you to also make silver like a ton, like millions of silver within seconds. Now, spider is a great way to make silver for sure. Uh, campaign farming is another great way to make silver for sure. But there's one area in the game that a lot of us tend to forget about and not realize that we're actually sitting on a, a ton and ton of silver. I'm talking millions and millions of silvers that you can net within seconds and I'm gonna show you here in a moment. And this is something you can do completely free to play, especially if you play for a longer period of time. And even whether you're a whale, whether you're free to play, this part of the game does not require any resources as far as to rack up the materials. And we're gonna be talking about the forge here. Now, the forge is a great way to net a ton, a ton of silver. And I've been hitting faction wars for a long time. I've been hitting uh, all the doom tower bosses with my extra silver keys for a long time. So I can make sure I can net a bunch of extra materials. And that's something you guys should definitely do because Hitting those early stages of Faction Wars, I know a lot of us probably don't want to do Doom Tower, a lot of us probably don't want to do Faction Wars, but just hit like the easiest stages if anything and just run it on auto. Even with like a like a level 50 for Faction Wars, you can literally go to Faction Wars and just yeah, go to like the easiest stage here. If you don't want to do the harder stage and you just you just really don't want to deal with it, then just go to like the easiest stages here, just throw in like a level 50 champion here. Now I know it takes up a lot of time. And we really don't want to do Doom Tower uh, bosses. We don't really want to do Faction Wars. But even so, just I, I say I recommend you just throwing in some a bunch of random champions in there, just even for the lower levels, and you'll be able to rack up a bunch of materials like I have. And I'm gonna show you right here. So we are sitting on. Uh, let's just go with Fatal. So I do hit up a lot of Fatal, uh, the the easy mode Doom Tower boss because it's just something I can auto without really thinking about it much. Because I know in the back end I'm gonna be racking up a lot of silver this way and. Right here, we are sitting on 6,000 of the smallest material that is used to craft 3 and 4 stars. And we have a ton of these laying around with other set pieces as well. And level 3 to 4 stars are not typically going to be um, useful much at all. Because, I mean, you're going to be able to farm better pieces eventually. And even early on, I mean, perception is amazing early on. But you're not going to be sitting on 3 to 4 stars like not I don't even recall sitting on four, three to four stars much at all uh, past like the first couple days of playing, you know what I mean? So you're not really going to be using this much. So I would s recommend you just racking them up as much as possible if you're not really doing Doom Tower, if you're not really going for the uh, higher difficulties to try to get these better uh, these better materials for Perception particularly, because the higher you go on the stages, then obviously the more better materials that drop, then these are definitely going to be useful. But as far as like the lower levels, if you really, really don't want to hit them, and or if you, I mean, a lot of us are going to be, we're going to be sitting on a lot of these because, uh, especially if you're early game, mid game, you're going to be sitting on a lot of these. So yeah, just go over here and go to the materials of the three to four stars that you're most likely not going to be using. Maybe like some rare cases, you might use like four stars boots, or perception or like whatever pieces you you have a going so i guess that would be the case but in most cases i would say you're probably not going to be using this at all in my case i don't really i'm not going to be using three to four stars ever again where i'm where i'm at once you're past like the first week you shouldn't be really using three to four stars so here we go we're gonna craft a bunch of these and all you gotta do is in a matter of seconds just boom collect boom collect let's just keep going I, I'll, just, I'll just keep going until like i max up pretty much Now, if you could set up like a macro for this, whether it's uh, blue stacks or um, I don't know what other uh, what other uh, uh, things you use to try to, I guess I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm talking about, like those uh, those scripts, whatever. So I mean, you can set that up too, I guess. But we're just gonna do it manual here. Okay, so we collected about. Uh, 
What do we start at? 6,000? Okay, so we collected about 150-ish or so. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's go to 200. So I think we're still under a minute here, I think, right? Okay, so we'll just stop right here. So I don't know how long that took. Maybe you guys can time it yourself and see. So we pretty much crafted around 200 worth of artifacts here, right? And I'm sitting at 1.3 mil silver. Now, it does require silver to make these, but in the back end, you're going get, to be getting a lot more because you're going to be selling them for a net gain, right? So I started at about 1.5 million silver. I'm down to 1.35 million silver and then once i sell all these all i got to do is go to filter go to new and i don't have anything else in new so i can just go here so it's not a problem or i can simply go to three four stars here and it's going to collect everything that's available that we just crafted there and then all i got to do is select all look at that guys 2.7 million silver in a matter of within a minute with with within seconds whatever you want to call it so boom look at this guys now i'm sitting at Four, 4 million silver and I started at about 1.5 million silver so all it took was a minute of crafting and then just selling all of it to net me a ton of silver so I guess I'll just keep going and see what happens here because I have a ton of materials that I don't mind crafting here and just get rid of, getting rid of because I'm not going to use this ever okay whoops I didn't mean to do that and like this, another thing you can do is I would recommend crafting these during CVC because that's going to give you a decent amount of punts as well. But if you're really, really in a pinch when, I don't know, there's an artifact enhancement going on and you really, really need the silver, then this is a great method for you to use to gain a ton of silver. A few moments later. So just like that, we went from 1.5 million silver, gained about 10.4 million silver and went to about 12 million silver in a matter of minutes, just like that. And all we did was go to the forge, craft, 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 sell all the useless uh, artifact pieces I'm not going to be using at all. And using the materials that I don't use at all or for the three, four stars. So it's pretty much useless to me at this point, right? That is going to be how you gain more silver that you guys are probably banking on that you're sitting on in your back pocket. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys found this information useful. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that forgot about this, and I hope that this reminded you or let you know that you're actually sitting on a lot of silver. So let me know in the comment section down below. Did you know about this? Did you forget about this? And most importantly, did you net a ton of silver by doing this method? So that's what I want to know, guys. Drop it in the comment section down below. I would love to read what you have to say. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. You guys are beautiful. You guys are awesome. And if you guys enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button and I'll see you all in the next video.